Hey, it's Lonnie West from Falcon Awesome and it's Technical Tuesday! Today I thought I'd show you some of the tools that we use to collaborate on songwriting. Uh, all too often when you look online there seem to be services that will sell you all kinds of uh, subscriptions to sites where you can collaborate for songwriting. But really it's, it's very easy to do without paying for anything. And I'm going to show you the tools that we use. Mainly Dropbox, an automated Excel spreadsheet, and a product called QuickCord which are all free to you. So let's go take a look and see how it works. Okay, so the first tool we use is an automated Excel sheet that we use to track an entire project. I'll admit we stole this design from Dream Theater as we saw a screenshot one time of uh, the Blackboard that they have in their studio. And we thought that was a really good format to use for our own projects. So we turned it into an Excel sheet. Um, you have your song title and your beats per minute along the side and then we have different columns that allow us to track the progress of the writing, recording of scratch tracks, the recording of final tracks, and then the mixing and mastering portions. So it's a little bit more than just a spreadsheet. It does have some back-end automation that makes some things easier. For example, you can click on a cell and select its working status. It's not used. If you click the finished, it'll add automatically add today's date onto it or not started. So instead of typing things into cells, you can just simply click on them and set the status for them. You'll notice we also have hyperlinks that jump out to either MP3, Word, or PDF files, which primarily are primarily what we use for our projects to share documents about it. These are live room recordings usually, and the Word and PDF documents are usually our chord sheets that we have for the songs. What we do is put the files out on Dropbox and then share the sheet so anybody has access to all the files in one handy place. And how it works is, for example, we'll pull up Song of My Soul, which has already been released. If I click the Word icon, it'll simply open up the Word document, which in this case is a uh, chord and lyric sheet, which has the chords and the lyrics to the song. Okay, that segues very nicely into how the hell did I create those chord diagrams? Let's show you how that piece works. We use a piece of software called QuickCord to create the chord diagrams. QuickCord is a standalone application. It's a freeware. It's something that I actually wrote almost 13 years ago. It's a chord engine, so it gives you an interactive designer. You just click where you want your fingering to be. It'll automatically calculate the chord names and notes. And all you have to do is copy it, control C, go into a Word document, control V to paste. Or you could do the same thing by, uh, we'll make a C chord here. Or you could edit, copy, edit, paste. Same thing. It also allows you to save favorites in here. So if you're building up chords for an entire song, you can add them to the favorites. and then save them all as uh, se separate files. It, QuickCord does a lot of different things. Um, it allows, uh, allows you to create a variety of different chord charts, including um, adding bar lines to a chord. It has different artwork in case you want different types of uh, decorations on there. It allows you to put text inside the dots if you want. Uh, I use the basic functionality out of the box to create basic guitar chords. And we put these in a Word document and put these out on Dropbox and then we share them using the project chart. That's pretty much it. Now these, the Excel sheet and the uh, Quick Chord application, they're both written by us here at Falcon Awesome because we're Falcon Awesome and we're going to make them available to you. So use them for your projects. There's no charge for it. Um, that's one thing as a musician that always kind of pisses me off is there's a bunch of people that seem to want to make money off of musicians and not too many people that want to pay them. So these are good tools for you to use for your own projects. All right, pretty easy, isn't it? So I bet your next question is where can I get Quick Chord and where can I get that awesome Excel sheet? Tune in next week and I'll show you where you go. Cheers.